السلام علیکم دا بک مسلم سو ہیلپ بلڈ انڈیا براٹ آؤٹ ان ٹو تھاؤزینڈ سیونٹین بائی دا فریدہ گروپ آف چیئرمین مسٹر یم رفیق احمد افیکشنیٹلی کالڈ بابو جی از اے ونڈرفل بک دی لائک آف وچ ڈز ناٹ سیم ٹو ہیو بین پبلشڈ اینی ویئر ان دا کنٹری سو فار It is a must read as you must know the history of our country and contributions of different religious people including Muslims. What does this book say? I will read to you a book review of Amina Khalil appeared in her blog Amina creations.com which throws light on this book please listen to it i am reading the book review of the book muslims who helped rebuild india muslims who helped rebuild india is a special book conceived by Yam Rafiq Ahmad, who is a Padma Shri Award winner and chairman of Farida Guru, and brought to shape by Nishraj Guru, Abra Ahmad, Sai P, Jeevansana Bharati, Lata K, and Dr. Kamal Shri. This book is a storehouse of information and knowledge to all of us as it focuses on the contributions made by Muslims towards the development and betterment of our country, India. One look at the book and I knew that this book would be an interesting read and I was not wrong. covering more than 200 personalities who helped shape India, who died for India, who worked in the development of India in various fields. This book is a treasure. The book is divided into two parts, Muslims in pre-independence India and Muslims in post-independence India. Contributions made by Muslims in pre-independence India focuses on Muslims who participated and sacrificed their lives during the freedom struggle and also those who helped the growth of India in various fields like education, arts, business, sports, etc. The contributions made by Muslims after independence in fields like education, military, business, arts, science, etc. are discussed in the second part. The write-ups on each individual are short, crisp and accompanied, accompanied with colorful photographs. The book also has small tidbits of information in between, which I think is a great idea to keep the reader's attention. The book lauds the efforts of all Muslim personalities who have contributed for the betterment of our country, including those who might have been inadvertently missed while creating this book. A portion of this book can be read online by going to the blog www.aminacreations.com. Thank you.